Can we continue with the breaking news from the NBA? The Hawks parting ways with their head coach, Lloyd Pierce, today. Pierce going 63 and 120 in two plus seasons with the Hawks. They are currently 11th in the Eastern Conference standings. And, well, you can sort of point to what happened in February. It was certainly a forgettable one for the Hawks. They finished 4 and 11. Only the Rockets and T Wolves had worse records. Defense continue to be an issue for Atlanta. You could say that's sort of been the Achilles heel for Pierce during his tenure with the team. I want to bring in senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski now, who first reported that Pierce had been let go. Woj, why did the Hawks decide to make this change right now? Uh, Al, certainly 11 of 15 losses here uh, in recent times. And I think there was a feeling in the organization, Al, you know, that Lloyd Pierce's voice was not resonating the way they hoped it would in that locker room anymore. And so uh, they decided here just ahead of an all-star game in Atlanta, uh, which is certainly interesting timing when, when you're the host team and it's, and it's your showcase uh, they would like Nate McMillan to become the interim coach. Uh, 16 years as a head coach in the NBA. He's on Lloyd Pierce's staff. Uh, I know he was meeting with Lloyd Pierce and the rest of the staff to talk through it with Lloyd. He was very loyal, has been very loyal uh, to Pierce. Um, and so, uh, you know, for Atlanta, uh, that may be the short-term move here. Nate McMillan in his interim coach if he chooses to do it. At the same time, though, Woj, I do want to say that while he may have not resonated with his team, he has made an indelible impact in the city of Atlanta itself through what he's done through voter suppression as well. I know that's something that really stood out to you about his tenure in Atlanta as well. Absolutely. Uh, Lloyd Pierce was really, uh, this past summer, after the George Floyd murder, he was really the head coach in the NBA who rallied the other coaches, got them together uh, to, to start to really uh, elevate their collective voice. And in that region, in Atlanta, Lloyd Pierce's impact uh, with, for voting rights, Black Lives Matter, uh, he made a tremendous difference in that community, a lasting difference in that community. I, I think Lloyd Pierce is gonna have more opportunities uh, to be a head coach in the NBA. He's on Greg Popovich's Olympic coaching staff. He'll be with Popovich uh, this summer. Lloyd Pierce was instrumental in securing State Farm Arena so that they could have that as a voting site. Yeah. And you could say it was a trickle effect after that across the sports sphere. Adrian Wojnarowski with the latest on Lloyd Pierce being let go from the Atlanta Hawks. I want to get more on this by bringing in our NBA insider Brian Windhorst. And Wendy, how surprising would you say the Hawks making this move right now is? I, L, there's going to be people out there who are say, going to say it's surprising because the Hawks are banged up um, and because uh, Lloyd was just away from the team uh, because his wife had a, a child. But this has been something that people in the league have been watching for for weeks now. Um, and it's not Lloyd Pierce's fault, per se. The Hawks changed their direction of their franchise. When they hired Lloyd, they were very much in developmental mode. They had a whole bunch of young draft picks. They were trying to have him lead development. In this last offseason, they spent a whole ton of money on free agents, bringing in guys that they wanted to elevate them to the playoffs. And while there isn't uh, any one reason, and it isn't necessarily anything that Lloyd did, they've underachieved to this point, and changes had to be made. And while there hasn't been an official naming of Nate McMillan to have to replace him, when Nate was brought uh, in as a, as a lead assistant in the offseason, it was expected that this move could happen. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.